Hi, I'm Tom Malini. I'm here today to show you version history in Google Docs, but this also works in drawings, sheets, slides, Google Sites, and Jamboard as well. The Jamboard one is a little limited, but by and large, this is what they'll look like across these Google Workspace apps. Go to File, Version History. Now you can just name this current version if you want, and there may be reasons you, you would name versions along the way, but I'll just click See Version History. And what's really nice is, I mean, you can filter by all or named, but you can go back and look at all sorts of versions over time. You can look at, uh, if I click this one, I can get a granular view of, all right, at 204, it looked like this, and at 203, it looked like that. You should be able to see, you know, you can see when versions are restored. I, I wind up restoring versions a lot. Uh, if I go to my current version here, and I notice I have some deleted uh, uh, emoji there, uh, and that, that person is in orange. Usually the collaborators are given a color. So, you know, this iteration of Tom Mulaney is green, this one's orange, this one's purple. Uh, really, really fun stuff here. But for any version you have, so let's say November 1 at 210, I can click the three dots and I can restore this version, name it, or make a separate copy. That is so, so useful because it means that if I need, you know, a version of something, what it looked like, you know, 20 minutes ago, an hour ago, I can just make a copy of it and then keep going with this file as well. So that's really, really nice. That's version history. It shows you who did what. It shows you what things look like at different points in time. Great way to track collaboration, to track progress, um, and even retrieve things that seemingly are lost. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.